What's going on everyone? My name is Nicholas Merton and today we are on part 14 of my series on SQL and data analytics for beginners. So guys, for the most part in this tutorial, we've been able to uh, utilize the data sources that Tableau provides us. And I gotta say, Tableau does a wonderful job of providing that early on so that people don't have to worry about collecting large sums of data or going out of their way to find other people's data that they can use. So they can just start jumping into it, learning the skill sets, and really getting at that beginner level of Tableau so you can move on from there towards actual data sets that you can utilize for your business practices and building valuable insights in real world situations. However, I wanted to show you all what it's like to import a data source of your own. And today I'm only going to show you how to import a file rather than connect to a, um, a, a database or a server. In that case, uh, that's something that's a little more at the intermediate level. And I'm just trying to teach you guys the basics here so you can kind of start diving into it and really get a feel for it for yourself. And you might already notice something that's on the screen. Well, it's actually, if you can't tell, it's price action of a, a very specific hot topic right now, and that is Bitcoin. Uh, I downloaded this back on July 5th, and uh, I'd been messing around with it in Tableau to just kind of, you know, plug in the data and see what I could find with it and mess around. But So I'm going to show you all how to import your own, your very own um, data source. So this is an example that I had downloaded and I fixed up with an Excel, and I'm going to show you how you can import it. So... First off, uh, basically what you're gonna have to do is first find a data source to download. And once you've done that, you go to File, New. And once that loads up a new window, we can go ahead and drag it up here. And much like when we were connecting to our previous data sources, we have to click Connect to Data. So we'll go here and instead of selecting, let's say for example, you know what your file type is and stuff, I always recommend it's best just to say the More option down here. Now, most people usually will be downloading files that would be opened in Excel. That's a usual, a very common case. Um, however, I'm just going to go ahead. It's always good safety precaution to click more so you can see all the absolute file types um, that you might be using. So in my case right here, uh, I have Bitcoin price history, which is an Excel file. So we'll go ahead and click on that and click open. And it should pop up with our data source. And there we go. That's uh, exactly what I'm looking for. It has the dates and the open, uh, the closing, the highs and the lows, uh, and all the information and the percentage return as well uh, on the day to the value for F6. So this is exactly what we were looking for. So let's go ahead and simply print what I had with the screen and see if our data source actually works. So we're going to go ahead, set our dimension, which is F1. This is the time period. We're going to set that to uh, show every weekly value and then we'll go ahead and print F5 which was the closing and we're going to change this from a sum because this is obviously Bitcoin has not gone up to 18k uh, we'll go ahead and bring that to average and there we go this is exactly what we we're looking for guys and we got our price action here so it's showing the weekly average of the price action so a nice smoothed out chart nothing too rigid and it's a great display of how much Bitcoin has really gone up. So we can now start really showing this data and showing how much Bitcoin has gone up and you know start building discussions and analyzing it and where it could go next. And it's a really cool thing. So anyways, guys, that is how you import a data source of your own when it's a file type into Tableau. I will see you all in the next video where we're going to actually start trying to produce value inside of Tableau with the information that we're given. So I will see you all in the next video, and it's the final step in the process. So if you've made it this far, stick to it, and I'll see you in the next one.